Hey busy lady, my name is Caitlin Mark, licensed dietitian, and I want to help you find good health by returning to God's good intelligent design. The goal of this podcast is to dig into how our bodies have been designed to work using the Bible and trustworthy research so that you can diet simply and sustainably. Let's get into today's episode. Recently, I've been thinking about this question. Can making a certain health decision be a sin? I've wrestled with this question myself, especially as a mom making health decisions for my sons. So I want to dig into this question with you in case you might be struggling with it too. Can your health decision be a sin? Let's first talk about what makes any decision a sin. We sin when we take an action that goes against God's commands. By doing so, we are saying that we are God and God is not, aka living by our own design instead of by God's. Sin separates us from God, and this sin can be anything from stealing or coveting to making a health decision that goes against God's law. These commands show us how prone we are to rebelling against God and that we cannot bridge the gap we've created between us and God because of our sin. We need God to step in and change our hearts to move us to submit to his design. We cannot do it on our own. Once we've recognized our depravity and inability to do what's right on our own, including making health decisions, we repent from living by our own design, and God then gives us a heart of flesh, Jeremiah 31. He also gives us wisdom to start living by his design. This is what it means to be a Christian. Now, we are free from the power of sin and can freely live by God's design. Those who haven't repented are not free to live by God's design. They are still bound to their desire to live by their own design. So let's bring it back to the question, can my health decision be a sin? If you have not turned away from living the way you want, all of your sin is separating you from God. So making a health decision that goes against God's design or doesn't isn't going to change that separation. Your only solution to making it right between you and God is to humble yourself, turn away from living the way you want, And ask God to change your heart so you can freely make decisions that align with his design. Okay, I'm glad we've got that salvation issue taken care of. Now, for the rest of the episode, I'm going to address those who have already turned away from living by their own design and have been given the spirit to live by God's design. If you're a Christian and asking if your health decision can be a sin, you're likely asking that question because you know that God's design is the best way to live for ourselves and for our loved ones. When making health decisions, I believe there are several Bible verses we can apply here, but I'd like to focus on 1 Corinthians 6.12, which says, Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but I will not be mastered by anything. Let's break down this verse. Everything is permissible, so we can do whatever we want. However, not everything will be beneficial. So though we can do anything, not every choice we make will benefit us, will be good for us, or the people around us. This means there are choices that will harm us and or the people around us. The next part of this verse is, I will not be mastered by anything. Though we can do anything, we should not act as if we're enslaved to something other than to God. This can look many different ways. You could be enslaved to the event of eating. There's dopamine that's released when we eat, and that might be addictive. So going without food may not be so desirable. So we can be mastered by the event of eating. Or we could be mastered by a specific food like sweets, carbs, junk food, or alcohol, where you find yourself saying, I can't give this up. That's where you may be mastered by something. And actually, I hear this a lot when I recommend fasting. People say, I can't not eat or I can't give this up. And that's a good test for our hearts to see if we're mastered by something. Okay, another way we can be mastered by something is we could be mastered by fear. All I'm going to say is think COVID. We could be mastered by peer pressure or a desire to not be seen as controversial. For example, your doctor recommends a treatment you deep down feel wrong about but you don't want to be seen by the doctor, your family, or friends as weird or as crunchy granola. And you definitely don't want to rock the boat. So you just give in to peer pressure despite your convictions. I see this a lot with moms and vaccines where they don't feel right about vaccinating, 
but don't want to be labeled an anti-vaxxer or to lose friends and family because others say unvaccinated kids are spreading dangerous diseases everywhere and killing people. So what can we do in making health decisions as a Christian? We don't, we want to live by God's design. We don't want to sin. We want to make the best decision for ourselves and for our family and our loved ones. What do you do then? I recommend when you make health decisions, examine the facts about every choice carefully. Then choose the option that is most beneficial to everyone and keeps God at the center. Because at the end of the day, God looks at your heart. He looks at how diligent you are to honor him through every health decision you make and what motivates you to make each health decision. So when you're making a health decision, ask yourself, are you making that health decision out of fear or because you want desperately to get pregnant or lose weight? Which, if we're honest with ourselves, is often on our own terms and on on God's terms. Or are you making that health decision because you truly believe it's the best decision that will bring God the most glory? I'm going to leave you with those questions. Uh, Those are difficult questions. So I'm going to let you ponder those. If anything is unclear about this podcast episode, then please leave me a comment on the show notes page on my blog. Hey friend, real quick. If you enjoyed this episode, then I think you would also enjoy our free private community. Head over to community.yourplatewithkate.com, link in the show notes, to learn more about our free private community. See you in the next episode.